What's going on guys? Welcome. I am on my way to an abandoned mine. I forget what it's called. I'm on the road right now. I should be on trail in about 50 miles. So let's just enjoy this drive, uh, get to the trail, and get to the mine. Go from there. the trail and let's get to this mine. guys I made it to the end of the trail so at this point I actually have to hike to the mine because they have it closed off to vehicles so you have to hike the I guess it's like a half a mile or so so I am oh man my shoes are on the other side We made it. Welcome. This is Big Eye Mine. And they got some uh, new chairs here. You know, in reading about this, uh, I heard that you can spend the night in here. I don't know if that's true, but if you can, rock on. Got some chairs, man. Look at this. Oh, and it's cushy, too. Can't help it, guys. I got, I, I got a like. Oh, I think this is locked. <sighs> Nothing in there, but curiosity. You gotta know. All right. 
what did I say today was? I do 02, 19, 20, 24. This book dates back to uh, 2014. What's this? Oh man, more. This is 2004. about this one? 2009, 2005, yeah. Dang, all the way to 2004. That breeze feels so good. Ah. So I'm at the edge of, uh, you can see the trail I came on is right there. The cabin's right behind me. And I just came to check out these structures. Rust it out. There's a trail that leads this way. Uh, a walking trail, just a little one. I highly doubt it goes to anywhere cool, but oh wait, I think there's a little hole right here. Well, it's nothing. Oh, this was a roof. So yeah, my guess that roof was for this sucker. Shower, totally. <laughs> Here, here's the shower head. I guess the pooper too. So apparently the caves, mines, all the stuff they were digging are down this way. But there is a sign right here that says caves closed. I read it. They have them closed um, to protect the bats that are in there because apparently people go in there, make a ton of noise, and the noise is killing the bats. Crazy, right? Springs for a mattress are randomly right there. Check out the view from here. That's nice, it kind of opens up. Take a look. Ooh. All right. I guess this is where they were mining for the gold. I thought there was gonna be some big old hole right here, but nah, there's just this. I at least wanna find a hole or something, man. I imagine we gotta go up there. the entrance we are just gonna peek inside real quick if you can see they have a the cave close sign so they call it the white noise syndrome it's killed hundreds of thousands of bats in the United States Hey guys, future editing me here. I just want to let you know because I forgot to mention while I was out there, 
I did mention that this is a gold mine, but they did also produce smaller quantities of silver, copper, and lead. So this is pretty cool. Pretty much at this point, this is where it splits, and on one side it just opens up, and it just bottoms out, and my flashlight wasn't powerful enough to see how far down it went, so it was just like darkness. It could go for hundreds of feet, or maybe just a couple more feet. It, I, I went to where it forks. You'd either go left or right. I won't go any further because A, it's closed, and B, I'm by myself. Not smart. So next to that opening is this structure right here. Man, look at that sucker. That still moves. Oh, there's another hole right here. Again, I'm just gonna peek in real quick. Oh. <laughs> That's all it is. All right. Ow. That was probably a tester. They're like, eh, nope. Better spot over there. So that is the view from this side. There's obviously this huge thing blocking me, but I feel like if I go over here, um, I might be able to see a view of that side. So head over there. Okay. All right, hold up. Okay, there we go. All right, well, wish me luck guys, cause I have to wedge myself right in between there and this has all the needly pokey things. Welcome to the freaking desert where everything will cut and stab you. Ow. Slow and steady, bro. Slow and steady. You got it. Ooh. Uh, I think there is a view over here. Ooh. Made it. And there really isn't. This is what's on the other side. Oh, wait, there's a hole. Hold up a second. Baby hole. I see a water bottle. I am gonna get it. Got it. So I'm coming this way to see if I can avoid going back under that tree. I wonder if I can come this way. Okay, so when I was up there looking for another uh, spot to come down, I found one. But I also think behind when I was looking, I could have swore there's another opening somewhere over there. So I want to go look and see if there is. What I thought was an opening was not. It was just, ooh, hold on, let me get my footing. There we go. It was just this big boulder. You can see that it's just where the water runs.
I saw that big old metal thing from the cabin. I was like, I wonder if there's any water in there. I can tell. Um, let's see, I can tell. So the water catchment basin right there. You can tell there's a pipe that goes down here and dwindles this way. I know this because the pipe is right there. And then it, it goes up there. Part of me is kind of curious. Is there anything up that way worth checking out? I'm gonna go up a little bit and see. So I took that turn just to see if it would dead end and it doesn't, it just keeps going. If you can tell here, I'll show you. So the trail turns that way and I can tell it's going up this way and I think it goes right around there. So that's where I'm headed. All right, so I made it. It's, um, it leads back to the mine. So if you take a look, that's where the mine is. But the trail does go this way. Just a little bit, I mean, you can see, and there's a bunch of rocks right here. So I'm curious if they were mining up there because there is a pipe that does lead up there. So I found another opening, check it out guys. So just so you know where we are, the mine entrance is right there. All right, and I think there's another entrance right over here. Before, so yeah, there's nothing over here. You can see that's nothing, but ooh. Oh my God, I didn't bring my flashlight, but dang. It goes way down there and it's freaky. So you guys see this pole right here, post? There's a ton of them. I don't know how well it can get on camera, but there's a ton in here kind of wedged in between this huge rock right here and this one up here, I guess to keep them from colliding together. So I'm up a little bit further. You can see, so the mine's further down that way. Ah, uh, we were right there. And then if you take a look, there are some holes right there, down there. I don't think I'm gonna go any higher than this, but there is a there is a hole right here. And you can see there are all the railroad tracks that lead right into here. Crazy. I can see some light coming through. We're just gonna go in a little bit. Wow, okay. So check it out, guys. I wonder if they did that for air circulation. But it goes that way. You really can see, I have my phone flashlight, but you can't see anything. There's another path that way. That's cool. All right. I'm going to head back to the cabin to get my stuff and then to the car. All right, let's get down. That was cool. I'm glad I went and saw that uh, tanker because I would, if I didn't, I wouldn't have seen that trail. I wouldn't have taken that trail and I wouldn't have seen those other tunnels. Ugh, do this real quick. Mm-hmm. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? 
All right, back to the vehicle. All right guys, I made it to the end of the trail, the start of the trail, whichever way you want to think about it. I am getting ready to air up my tires. Cool. All right. So a lovely viewer of mine or someone watching one of my episodes uh, told me about how not once, but twice a car battery exploded in their face. So, and just in case. All right, guys, I am all aired up. No incidents, nothing exploded on me. Um, I'm gonna be getting out of here, obviously, head, hitting the pavement, heading back home. Just wanna say I appreciate you guys. Hopefully I'll see you next time. And uh, remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is. All right, until next time, guys, take care.